Will Caldwell. I'm an ear, nose, and throat sleep allergy physician. So I chose ENT initially because of the people I met in med school, and they seem to be great folks and enjoy life, and um, uh, it opened up uh, the field to me in meeting them, and I thought, wow, I'd like to do what they do. And then as I got more into it, it was a very broad field, so you could take from it what you wanted and, and focus on facial plastics or sleep medicine or allergy or sinus disease. Just a huge breadth of topics and also a breadth of patients, ranging from newborns all the way to old folks. I had a grandmother that used to always say, hey, you'd make a great doctor, and I never really thought about that or internalized that, but in retrospect, I think that had an impact to some degree. Um, I knew I wanted to do something with people that wasn't sure um, what it was I wanted to do, and uh, also recognized I wanted to do something where my, my moral, uh, my Christian ethics and moral code could, could be used um, kind of daily. And so being a doc kind of makes it a little easier to live up to those standards too because you have a lot of opportunity to do that. I grew up here in Charlotte and um, I went to West Charlotte High School where I graduated. Went on to Davidson College. Um, spent uh, some time in Africa um, studying wildlife management and then came back, graduated at Davidson. Went to eastern uh, eastern part of the state to Eastern uh, East Carolina University for med school and finished there went to Baltimore and um, had a great you know, five years as a intern and resident in Baltimore lived on a sailboat while I was there and just had a great experience and got great training at the University of Maryland in shock trauma and then moved back to Charlotte in 2003 and we've uh, been here ever since long-standing hobbies have been outdoor sports so I like backpacking um, we go, try to go once a month with a group um, here in Charlotte, and we go for an overnight. And then my dad and I, who originally got me into it, um, try to go on a big trip once a year for a week. And so I enjoy outdoor stuff. Um, I used to say I like to run, but um, <laughs> it's a little hypocritical because I don't get to, I don't exercise as much as I should. Uh, and then I'm involved with a group called Give Hope Global, which is a, um, a really a foreign missions group uh, for orphans in Western Haiti. I'm their medical director, so I spend a good bit of my extra time um, either here in Charlotte coordinating trips and addressing problems and or challenges and uh, or either going down to Haiti and spending time.